Hello and welcome to my first hammer tutorial. Uh, since this is my first tutorial, it probably won't be great, so don't expect an amazing tutorial. Uh, today I'll teach you the basics of hammer, but more specifically, the Portal 2 authoring tools. Uh, so first, what you have to do is uh, make sure tools are selected, scroll down, and once you find the Portal 2 authoring tools, uh, run it or install it or whatever and you should be met with this here. Double click on hammer and you should be greeted to this screen here. To create a new map go to file new and you should get this. To move around your camera uh, do, uh, use WASD and the arrow keys and the arrow keys rotate your camera and WASD moves your camera or alternatively hold Z well, not, not, not hold, but press Z and uh, move your camera around. So the first thing you want to do is to find a white texture like this. And I'll go with that, I guess. And to select a big area like this. Make sure it's nice and tall. So you'll want some room and then press enter you end up with a big box like this go to tools make hollow and set it to negative 128 and so you should end up with this big room here by the way this is called the block tool or the brush tool so this is probably the most used tool in hammer except for like the selection tool but yeah uh next go to the entity tool make sure it's info player star and place it somewhere in your map there we go you've got a person um yeah do control s to save your map and save it as something i'm gonna save it as uh tutorial i guess uh, and do F9 to run your map. This this is what it usually looks like. Go to Expert and click Go to make it run faster and to enable cheats. And yeah, uh, nice big room. Uh, next thing you want to do is get the portal gun. It's called a weapon underscore portal gun. You should find it in the with the entity tool and just chuck it by your player's feet. Uh, use these buttons here to change the grid size or the square brackets and yeah now first thing I want to teach you is uh, how to you how to use uh, buttons with these buttons and prop floor buttons all right so this is called a prop underscore button and this one's called a prop underscore floor button So uh, we'll connect this button here up to a door, so it's a prop test chamber door. Chuck that down, uh, move it, ro rotate it uh, to 70, and place another down here, and make that a rotation of 90, so they're facing. Now you want to name the two doors something. So I'll name my first door, yes, and I'll name my second door, subscribe. So uh, I'll do the button first. The thing you want to do is uh, delay before reset, set that to what you're comfortable with. So uh, it's the amount of time between the button is pressed and the button is unpressed. So first you want to go to cl click on the outputs tab, go to add, unpressed, uh, whatever door that is, so that's yes. 
and then you choose not close open and press apply you then you'll want to copy and paste that and set it to closed when on button reset and you want to do a similar thing to this button here Alright, and once you and once you're done, do F9 to run your map again. And uh okay, you got your first door. And also the portal gun works. Regular portal gun. That. And that is how you make portal maps. I guess that's that'll just be my first tutorial. Uh hopefully later on today or maybe tomorrow I'll make a second tutorial. And uh yeah, I guess that's it.